Hello fellow Hedgers of the Blue and welcome to my channel. In this tutorial I'm going to have fun because I'm going to do a rusty old looking sword like this. Very cool. Let's get cracking. So uh, as usual I have my best coat applied. In this case is lead belcher. And our first step will be uh, a heavy wash with Agra's Earthshade. This will give the sword a kind of a dirty, muddy look, which is perfect for this effect. Apply it liberally, don't be shy. We want this sword to be very dirty looking, kind of like that. So as you can see, our wash of Agrax Earthshade is now completely dry and it's giving the blade a very dark and old look. And now we will start applying our uh, rust effect and for that I'm using this crack brown very diluted to form a kind of a glaze or wash and apply this in the areas where the plate won't be, wouldn't be hit or scrapped in any way you don't need to be neat with this you can apply it in patches uh, the more random it is, the more natural it would look. Build the intensity up to a point you are happy with. And don't be afraid to go mad and do a very, very rusty sword if that is what you want, which is what I'm going to do here. Our scrap brown layer is now dry. And now I'm going to do a layer of uh, fresh or more recent oxide. With, for that I'm using Trolls layer orange in exactly the same way. So we have our Trolls layer orange wash or glaze now dry and I'm going to bring back the metals on the edge to simulate a uh, use of uh, strikes and for that I'm just going to edge highlight everything again with lead belcher and do some slashes maybe some stippling here Be random, which will give the best look overall. And now for our final highlight, we're going to use Tom Hall Silver and apply it the same way we did the lead belcher in the last step, but just in a smaller area. So with that last step, the sword is finished and it's looking pretty amazing and very realistic. Remember, um, 
oxide tends to gather in the recesses and the deeper areas and it will chip off in the tips and in the edges of, of a sword. So as always, I really hope you liked the video and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.